What are you guys doing exactly? We're hiding. There's something in the bushes. We think it's a monster. What are you doing? Are you crazy? You'll be eaten. That's a cat. Honestly, Bobak, you're so pathetic sometimes. No, I'm not. How are we supposed to know it was a cat? I don't know. Maybe because it has fur, whiskers, a tail? That's not what I meant. Besides, at least I'm not scared of a little howling. What do you mean? Someone says that you heard howling the other night and got scared and came to sleep in his room. Someone? Why'd you tell him that? I thought it was sweet. Well, anyway, at least I'm not scared of a cat. Someone, someone, I'm scared. I heard a noise. Cut it out. You cut it out. Both of you cut it out. What is going on here? Susan was making Bob fun of me because brat. she's a brat. She was making fun of me because she's better than everyone. And I was like, cat. Someone's bed, but, but it was more for him. He gets scared when someone turns off the lights. Enough already. Look, I don't care who started this, but... But, Mom, on. No buts, Bobak. Listen, you kids need to stop fighting and start learning to get along. You're too old to be behaving like this. You don't see Samon acting like that. I like both of them. Look, you guys will be out on that overnight camping trip tonight with your scout troop, and you need to be there for each other. Look out for one another. I don't want to hear any more about you kids fighting or the trip is off. Okay, then. Now go and finish getting ready. We have to be at the lake in a half hour. Well, son, this plastic bubble should protect you from all the elements. Okay, troops, settle down, settle down. Your troop leader's here. Leader. Hi, Hi troop leader. leader. Please call me General. General Specific. <laughs> oh, really, kids, loosen up, will ya? Well, as you can imagine, keeping track of all of you kids is about the same as herding cats. I needed help, and I got the best help available. Let me introduce you to... <laughs> Where is he? Hi, Coach. Well, well, well. If it isn't my old pal, Salmon. Salmon, he just called you Salmon. Salmon, aren't you going to correct him? Salmon's okay. Salmon's okay. Campers, listen up and listen up good. I am the coach. Nothing more, nothing less. You are about to embark on a great adventure. Exploring the wilderness as Mother Nature herself intended. Without the usual comforts of modern-day man. It is an adventure for the strong, not the weak. It is an adventure for the adventurous. An adventure for the ages. Now, collect your gear and let's begin our adventure. Well, this feels a bit familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> that was really cool what you were telling us while we were hiking, Mr. Coach. I am always in awe and wonder at Mother Nature and all her mysteries. Growing up in Austria, we used to go camping all the time. Australia, eh? Ah. Much fun did I have exploring the Great Barrier Reef, the Gold Coast, 
and the Great Barrier Reef. So, what's it like growing up in Australia, hmm? Yes, sir. The Austrian mountains are very hard to master. The air is very fresh, not like in Vienna. Ah, Venice. The jewel city on water. Land of the canals. Many a pleasurable day did I experience on the world-famous beaches of the Lido.